Yum. Those cookies are a masterpiece. Masterpieces take time to create because the baker takes time intentionally creating them. They aren't a mistake. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. If I'm feeling discouraged, I might look at myself and think I'm not good enough or smart enough, just like this lump of dough. With my perspective, I might see this. But God sees this. Mm, masterpiece you are. And here's the thing. I'm not a masterpiece because I do really great things. Like, I'm not a masterpiece because I'm really nice to people. Or because I serve at church. I'm not even a masterpiece because I pray and read my Bible every day. I'm a masterpiece because of Jesus. What he did on the cross and what he continues to do for me. That's the way of Jesus. This is the way. Another thing to look at in this verse is one wee little word, we. It doesn't say you are God's masterpiece. It says we. And yes, you are included in the we, but that just means that everyone else is included in the we too. That kid at church who looks different than you <coughs> is God's masterpiece. That kid at church who's mean to you <coughs> is God's masterpiece. This means to be able to fully see how you are God's masterpiece, you have to look at how everyone is God's masterpiece and together we make God's family, the church, God's masterpiece. So next time you're feeling a little down about yourself, remember. Mm, masterpiece you are. And also remember that other people, even the ones that are different than you or annoy you, mm. they are God's masterpiece too. Bye guys.